it's this dance right here. Is this is this is this dance right here? Uh, Aisha Curry was caught, you know, doing like a terrible version, like you know, a total like mom version of it. it <laughs> What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tunji's podcast. I am your host, Tunji Taylor Lewis. How is everybody doing today? Hope you all are having a great, fantastic day today. Um, uh, usually, I do this after coming straight from work, and that's what I'm doing today. Uh, the new job is going great for anybody who's curious. Um, it's definitely a, a schedule changer. I'm spending more time at work now than I was with my former job. So, you know, just figuring out um, how to, you know, make, you know, adjustments now that I don't have as much time as I, do bef as I did before. Um, I might, I'm thinking about, you know, with my lip sync videos, um, making them all just throwback posts. So just taking the videos that I've done before and just reposting them um, because I know a lot of you guys you know, um, have your favorite videos um, that you've seen from me. And uh, so I'm just gonna go about the route of uh, resurfacing those, resurfing, you know, random ones every now and again, the ones that I think are, you know, most relevant to the time. And then um, just, you know, record a podcast every day and just see how that goes and see if you guys enjoy that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I did get all those videos done because now I, I have, I've given myself some cushion for times like this where, you know, I don't have as much time to spare or, or, or what the case may be. So yeah, that's what's going on with that. Um, uh, I kind of want to talk about something that I kind of got into a little bit on the last episode, talking about, uh, you know, clout chasers on social media, uh, specifically Twitter trolls. And uh, I want to talk about this because I saw the whole Aisha story, the Aisha Curry story. Um, basically yesterday, um, people were going after Aisha Curry for her Millie Rock. For those of you who don't know what the Millie Rock is, it's this dance right here. Is this is this is this dance right here? Uh, Aisha Curry was caught, you know, doing like a terrible version, like you know, a total like mom version of it. It was, uh, you know, it was, <laughs> it was funny. It was pretty dreadful, but you know. And uh, you know, Twitter went after her for it and kind of like dragged her or whatever. And um, it kind of goes into a theory that I've had about Twitter trolls specifically, which is that Twitter goes after the same people. They go after the same people. Like, you know, once I think, you know, Twitter trolls identify a celebrity or a high profile figure as somebody who, if we troll this person, then people are gonna jump on board. They, they find any and every reason to, to go after this person on Twitter. So Aisha Curry as a current example, it all started with her like back in the day, I can't remember when it was, like maybe let's say 2015, when she made that whole statement about how, you know, it, you, uh, she doesn't she she made a whole like christian -y statement about how she doesn't understand women who you know dress a certain way dress real skanky and all that stuff because like you know she's saving her parts for her manner like some real you know judgmental you know christian shit right people went after her for it as they should have you know what i mean like it was a pretty you know judgmental thing to say um or at least it it's it came off as pretty judgmental and uh, you know, people had uh, you know the right to you know react the way that they did. But since then, when people have gone after Aisha Curry, it has been really unfair. It's almost as if like you know, Twitter culture has an inability to forgive people for you know saying something that wasn't the most kind or was or was a little bit offensive. It's just like people are unable to forgive people for making a mistake once, right? So, you know, fast forward to like earlier this year, you know, y'all saw the whole Red Table Talk thing where she, Aisha Curry said that she, um, you know, you know, she she wants to know that she's attractive to to men, you know, other than her husband. Um, which at the time when I watched it, because you know I watch Red Table Talk, I'm unashamed. Red Table Talk's my favorite show. 
at the time I didn't think it was a big deal because like it makes sense like you know everybody who's in a relationship knows that you know when you know that someone of the opposite sex who's not your significant other finds you attractive you know obviously the good people among us won't pursue that or like you know go after that person but like it is it, it does in the back of your head it does give you a little bit of confidence of like okay like you know i still got it like you know like i'm still like you know like it, it feels good to know that you're that people find you attractive basically but you know because it's aisha curry you know people just freaking went after her especially especially men um and then now i feel like people are really reaching with this case which is like guys she she did she did the dance she did it wrong like who cares like there's no reason to um you know to bring steph into this and to make you know assertions that steph is annoyed with his wife or anything like that it's like sometimes like you know in, in some cases you can kind of get like where the jokes are coming from but then it gets to a point where it's just like, like guys come on like at this point it's just bullying right granted the memes are funny on twitter like i'm not gonna lie i was scrolling through twitter and i laughed at a couple of the jokes but like um i guess what i'm getting at is like the intent behind it which is that yo you're really targeting people and it's not just aisha curry it happens with uh with one of my idols steve harvey um Steve Harvey had a whole thing when he said that, you know, rich people don't sleep eight hours a day or something like that. People got offended by that and just like, you know, lambasted him on Twitter. But again, I think it's because they target, he's, tar Steve Harvey's a guy who they target because if you remember back in the day when he had that Miss Universe pageant and he, um, you know, he made that mistake um, you know, saying the wrong name, where like the you know, producers made the mistake and he took the fall for it, saying the wrong name. That's where he had his big Twitter, you know, controversy and big Twitter troll stream. And since then, it's it just seems like whenever Steve Harvey says something that we don't particularly like or we don't agree with, that it's 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 such a huge deal, right? And, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff, and it, you know, that, those are just two examples. Like, there's a bunch of other examples, like Taylor Swift is another good example. Um, I don't know if Kanye serves as a good enough example because he does be saying some stupid shit from time to time. But um, you guys get the drift of what I'm saying. It, 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 Twitter definitely does target, you know, celebrities with, with big names who have said controversial things in the past because they know those um those trolls will will pick up gas and uh, it does get me think because you know i do have goals and aspirations of being you know high profile one day and having a lot of people you know know my name and that is something that i want i don't want fame for the sake of fame i want i want a lot of people to be affected by the work that i do and like you know i guess fame would be a byproduct of that right and that's something that definitely scares me about that goal though it's just like you know when you get to a heightened status people will feel like they can do whatever they want to to uh damage or sully your name um because it'll bring them attention like that's what happens with these celebrities they have such a big name that if you say something controversial about them that it'll bring them attention and they don't care about the damage that it brings to the celebrity because they feel like the celebrity will be unaffected by it and we're seeing more and more that it's not true you know Aisha Curry on Red Table Talk talked about like her bouts of anxiety and you know celebrities go through like mad you know mental health problems and you know I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that you know the, the general public you know we we can be we can be bullies from time to time so yeah it's just it's definitely something that's on my mind um but you know i guess at the end of the day that's why i'm just gonna have to focus on making sure that my relationship with god is solid <laughs> Because if this is what I want, if this and I want to grow stuff, and then also just making sure that I understand like who my friends are, like who my community is, like you know, I always love and appreciate the support that you guys give me. Um, so yeah, but that's just what's on my mind today. Twitter trolls, leave people alone sometimes, okay? <laughs> all right, y'all, that's all I got. Leave me your thoughts, your comments in the com. Sorry.
sorry, leave me your thoughts and comments in the comment section, in the review section, or wherever you're watching or listening to this. Let me know what you think. Love y'all. Peace out.